In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top 10 photography spots in Tokyo. So when people first come to Tokyo, Shibuya is one of the places they hit because it's an awesome photography spot. Just look at behind me and all of these people. So I wanna show you guys my top 10 favorite places to take photos in Tokyo, which might be a little bit off of the beaten path, but it should help out your Instagram game. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description so you guys can get to all of these spots. And one thing in this video, I won't be including any of these scenic shots or any of the skylines because I wanted to show you kind of like a more street level view of Tokyo. But if you guys want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comment section. And Ziyun was kind enough to send me the Crane 2, so in the rest of this video, I'll be filming with a Ziyun Crane 2. But one note is that I'm not a pro photographer, and this is the first time I'll be using a DSLR gimbal. So you guys, be kind to me in the comment section. Number 1. Hie Shrine You might have seen pictures like this from Hinari Shrine in Kyoto, but this one was taken in Tokyo, and it's one of those hidden secret spots that no one really knows about. Hanazono Shrine in Ueno Park is similar but packed with tourists so it's difficult to get a good shot and the shrine gates are not as photogenic. Number 2. Moreru Minyong If you're looking for something more Japanese pop, then check out this ultra cute Purikura shop. It's at the gateway of Tokyo Disney Resort in the Xperia Shopping Mall. It has several photography areas serving as a perfect Instagram killer. Number 3. Sensoji I know this photo stop is probably already on your list when traveling to Tokyo, but since it's just so beautiful, it had to make my top 10 Tokyo photo spot list. During the day though, when there are crowds of people, I was able to isolate the subject by using the bottom up mode on the Crane 2 gimbal. It gets an ultra low, close to the ground, buttery shot like this. Number 4. Tokyo Plaza Now this spot is a Tokyo Instagram classic. Mirrors everywhere, even on the ceiling. And now you guys know where it is. Number 5. Graffiti Wall This spot is hidden in the back area of Shibuya that not a lot of tourists know about. It was challenging to capture the entire wall in one shot, but luckily I was able to use a gimbal to balance my DSLR camera and walk along with a subject like this. Number 6. Todoroki Keikoku Can you believe just 15 to 20 minutes away from Shibuya there's a beautiful ravine secretly hidden away? You can keep walking the path and you'll eventually reach a waterfall. Also, if you ever want to go selfie mode with a gimbal, just tap the mode button 3 times and you can even capture yourself like this. Number 7. Gotokuji Inside of this beautiful Gotokuji temple, you can find these cute and oddly scary cats, aka Mane Kineko. You might want to go to this spot early, since it's right next to the cemetery. Number 8. Omoide Yokocho Omoide Yokocho is a well-known Tokyo tourist spot for getting food and drinks, but it's also an amazing spot for Tokyo photography at night. Cute lanterns and friendly stores set the perfect scene. Number 9. Meiji Jingu Meiji Jingu is just right next to Harajuku Station. A lot of people visiting Meiji Jingu beeline to the shrine, but along the way there's this dope set of 201 barrels of sake, all beautifully lined up. The names shown in the barrels are the sake makers from all over Japan who made contributions. Definitely an Instagram worthy spot in my book. And number 10. Tatemono-en Tatemonoen, also known as Edo Tokyo Open Air Architectural Museum, is located inside Kogane Park, which is 30 to 40 minutes away from Shibuya. It costs 400 yen for admission, but it's completely worth the money and the travel. Check out this cinematic reveal shot of this place while I start from the subject's feet, working up to ultimately reveal the old school bathhouse ahead of her. Oh, and not only do the buildings make for amazing photographs, you can even enter each building to find authentically curated interiors. Here's a map showing you relative locations in Tokyo of all the places we visited. Again, all the location links are in the description of the video. Alright, so that concludes my top 10. Hope you liked the video and I hope you liked the footage from the crane too. It can actually have a payload of 3.2 kilograms, so even heavy cameras like in my DSLR with a huge lens, this thing was able to handle it. Plus, it came with a cool tripod so that 
when you actually fold it out like this, you can actually just like prop it up without any problems. And if you guys are interested in the crane too, I'll leave a link in the description. And like always, if you guys want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or Japan, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.